Hey everyone, welcome to Clinical Knowledge and Medicine. Let's learn about PID, Pelvic Inflammatory Disease. Definition It is an inflammation of upper genital tract involving fallopian tubes as well as ovaries. Etiology Sexually transmitted disease, gonococcal and chlamydial infections are most common. They travel with mutile sperms in piggyback fashion and reach fallopian tubes and cause selpingoophritis. Other organisms causing PID, mycoplasma, E. coli, viruses, tubercle bacilli, post abortal and purpural sepsis, minor operative procedures like dilation and curtis and hysterosalpingogram, manual removal of placenta and evacuation of products of con conception, introduction of IOCDs, Incidence of PID, pelvic peritonitis, tuberculosis is bloodborne. It is disease of sexually active women, reproductive active and frequent changes of sexual partners is and cause developed countries. In developing countries, purpural sepsis and septic abortions are important cause. Pathology, acute salpingitis, fallopian tube is swollen, edematous and ceramic with visible dilated vessels on the peritoneal surface. Discharge of seropurulent fluid from the femoral end of the tube. Mucous membrane is edematous with infiltration of the leukocytes in plasma cells. In ascending infections like gonorrhea, mucous membrane first to get involved. Inflammatory exudate is discharged into lumen which drain at ampullary end. Ulceration lead to adhesion and tubal blockage or narrowing of lumen. Pus in the pelvic cavity through femoral and causes pelvic abscess. Wall of the tube is thickened and tense. PID following post bacterial and purpural infections. Infection spread through cervix by lymphatics to cellular tissue and broad ligament causes cellulitis. Wool is thickened. Staging total of 5 stages. First one is acute salpingitis with peritonitis. Second, acute salpingitis with peritonitis. Third, acute salpingitis with superimposed tubal occlusion or tubo ovarian complex. Stage 4, ruptured tubo ovarian abscess. And stage 5, tubercle salpingitis. Signs, high temperature and toxic look, tachycardia. Tongue shows sign of dehydration, abdomen distended, tender. Speculum examination so purulent and discharge. Cervical movement are tender, pelvic abscess. Creating tender swelling in pouch of Douglas. Symptoms Young sexually active woman is prone to PID. Abdominal pain which is bilateral, retracted to lower abdomen, severe in acute stage with fever. Dysuria, vaginal discharge, uterine bleeding, fever, diarrhea in case of pelvic abscess. Differential diagnosis Acute appendicitis, temperature is not high as in PID. No vaginal discharge, irregularities in menstrual cycle. Ectopic gestations Vaginal discharge, leukocytosis, raised ESR is absent, diverticulosis, twist ovarian cyst, pyrexia absent, vaginal discharge absent, rupture endometrial cyst, septic abortion. Investigations, HBTLC and ESR, cervical and high vaginal swab culture, blood culture, blood urea and serum electrolytes, caldocentesis, ultrasound, CT, MRI. Treatment, mild treatment at home with antibiotics, moderate severe hospitalization. Medical treatment with antibiotics, tetracycline 500 mg 4 times a day for 10 days, doxycycline 100 mg 2 times a day for 10 days, erythromycin 500 mg 4 times a day for 7 days. Surgical, minimal invasive surgery includes laparoscopic drainage of tubo ovarian abscess, ultrasound guided Aspiration of pelvic abscess, percutaneous abscess drainage. Complications, reoccurrence, chronic PID, tubal blockers, pelvic pain. Now let's learn about chronic PID. Introduction, failure of acute pelvic infarction to resolve re results in chronic tubo ovarian masses. This manifests in the form of hydrosalpinex, chronic salpinex, Chronic interstitial salpingitis, tube ovarian cyst, tuberculous form. Signs In pelvic examination, so appendices are found to be tender, thickened, and flexed. Uterus and appendices are densely adherent to each other. Symptoms Constant low abdominal pain, which worsens before menstrual cycle. Vaginal discharge may absent, menorrhagia, polymenorrhagia, and congestive dysmenorrhea. Infertility may be due to blockage of fallopian tube. Rectal irritation, differential diagnosis of chronic PID, ectopic gestation, uterine fibroid, pelvic endometriosis, ovarian tumor, tubercle tuba ovarian mass. Treatment, 
alternate surgical treatment in young women conservative surgery in form of selpingectomy and selpingoophorectomy is performed an extensive damage abdominal hysterectomy with bilateral selpingoophorectomy is needed tuberoplasty it requiring tubal blockage laparoscopic breaking of external adhesion either by laser or electrocautery is indicated if the tubal blockage is due to external adhesions histoscopic balloonoplasty